We just got to where we're staying for the weekend. Eli booked me a weekend birthday trip in the Cotswolds. Eli drove here because he drives everywhere and I'm the passenger princess. And we stopped off in Marlow and went and got lunch and a coffee um, on our way to kind of break up the drive a bit. My food was really nice, Eli's was not. But in typical Jordan style, I also grabbed a pair of shoes because I walked past a shop window and I've been wanting a pair of shoes like this for a while and I do have a similar pair in red but don't tell Eli that because he doesn't know that and I've wanted a pair of shoes like this for a while I tried to order some from Zara that were like a similar-ish style but they really weren't nice they... <laughs> do you remember those shoes Eli? Pointy ones Yeah They were really really too pointy and, and they just... The, the thought was there but it just was poorly executed. Anyway, so I didn't keep them. <laughs> Lying in the background. And um, so I walked past the shop window today. Anyway, long story short, saw a pair of shoes I really, really ha like and have wanted a similar pair for, for a long time. Anyway, my ones that I have of this version in red are really uncomfortable because my Sorry, red- what? Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> yeah, I just have a relatively similar pair in red. You're kidding. No. <laughs> anyway, these ones are much more comfortable. Whatever makes you happy. <laughs> Thanks. And anyway, I'm just going to show you them. Also, I feel like because these ones aren't red, they're much more versatile. They're from Mint Velvet, which is a shop that I've seen before, but never really gone into. They had so much stuff in there that I wanted to buy. Um, it all seemed to be like quite good quality, at least these shoes were. Anyway, so this is the shoe. She's very cute, very versatile. Um, possibly, Eli, your butt's in it. Possibly more of a summer shoe, but I think we love her for winterish times anyway. And I think I'll probably wear her tonight. So that's very exciting and a great way to start the trip. And we're just gonna have dinner in the hotel tonight. I think there's, what is the restaurant here? Sorry, I have a runny oh. nose. Successful day so far, right? Mm. Yeah, it has been. It was a nice drive. I enjoyed it. Good conversation. Good lecture. That was nice. <laughs> yeah, we listened to a lecture on our way here, which was really fun. No, it was actually interesting. It's nice to do that because sometimes I feel like when I'm in the car and I listen to my same playlist all the time, I don't know, it's just quite boring. And I listen Sometime. to that playlist like on the train, yeah. on my way home, on the drive home, when I get ready in the morning. So I'm kind of over it. So it's really nice to listen to a lecture slash or a podcast. Yeah. Um, but it was interesting, sparked some interesting discussions. And yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna wear to dinner yet, but I'll show you my travel outfit quickly. These are my travel uh, pants that I wore when I went to Serbia, they're my ones from Brandy Melville. They're just really comfy. And I think I said before, but they look like a summer trouser, but they're actually really thick. Um, and then this is a new jumper, which I got from Kos, Kos and it's so cozy. It's 100% cashmere, which we love, and really nice color. And then for my shoes, I have to show you these shoes because they're kind of unreal. They're like a clog type thing, but they're fluffy on the inside. And I mean, they do look like you're wearing a slipper, but they're really nice and cozy. I'll show you what they look like right now. This doesn't look all that nice, but this was the comfy travel fit. Anyway, I'll probably get ready for dinner now and um, show you a different outfit because I think I'm gonna change. The outfit update for dinner is that I just changed my trousers, I kept this jumper on. Oh, you can't really see that. I changed just into white jeans and my new shoes that I purchased and then chucked a scarf on. I don't think I need a coat because we're just going for dinner in the hotel. So we only just have to walk outside. Thank you. 
morning guys we're just on our way to a farmer's market in stroud which is half an hour from where we're staying our plan for today is kind of village hop first we're going to a place called stroud and then we're going to sirencester to go to antique stores i don't know the other places we're going to go to burton on the water we'll go to snow hill we'll go to some of the other Broccoli? Was it called broccoli or something? Broccoli, I don't think so. <laughs> and then we just did a Google of like some nice villagey places to visit around where we are. So we have kind of like a two hour circle route that we're just going to stop off at places on the way. Not sure what time we'll be back, so don't know what our plans for the evening are. But I'm really excited for the farmer's market. I love stuff like that. Um, and hopefully we can buy some nice things because I managed to find something to buy everywhere I go so I'm sure we will. We're back in the car with our haul from the farmer's market. So, first item on the list, lion's mane powder. I didn't really understand the benefits Medicinal of Medicinal mushrooms, add to coffee, add to hot chocolate, yeah. add to smoothies. Are you sure it's fermented honey? Well, it says fermented honey. Creamed fermented honey, love that. Wait, I'm losing hands. Organic farm cream, which you're gonna put in your coffee along with the lion's Extra mane thick. powder. Extra thick. Oh yeah, a shampoo bar. The woman who sold us this was really nice. And um, it's 100% natural. She did read out the ingredients, but they're not on the back here. But it's a lot of like cocoa butter, essential oils kind of vibes. So we're gonna try it. And she said also that this lasts for three... Um... Three whole oh, bottles. Oh, it smells really good. Have you smelled it? Yeah, it does, yeah. The best coffee in Wait. the... Wait, it lasts for three whole bottles. I didn't say that yet. Okay, now go. Say it. It lasts for three whole bottles. <laughs> we also got apparently the best roasted coffee in the Cotswolds. Winner yep. of the Cotswold Awards Best Roasters. Well, I actually got hot chocolate. You don't have to tell them that. Oh. Olives for a snack for our road trip because yeah, I think we are going to be in the car for a while. And we both love olives. These are garlic, coriander and... Lime. Lime. Next thing, well, Eli eats the olives. Yeah, it was a really big market and they had an indoor um, like area too. And we walked in and there was like a book stand. And I just saw these two books. One is called The English Gentleman. And then the other is The English Gentleman's Wife. And I just thought it was really funny and that I had to buy them, even though I have absolutely no idea what they are or what they're about. But they were two pound each. <gasps> In the men's one, the gentleman at home, in school, his club, the gentleman in the opposite sex, the gentleman in his car, the gentleman at war, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. This one, the English lady in her wedding, the lady at home, the lady in sex, the lady in her children, her garden, her church, her wardrobe. The unmarried lady. Wow. Scandalous. Wow, this is going to be so fun to read. Anyway, I don't know when they were written. That was the haul, guys. Now off to Sirencester to go to some antique shops. Eli's just got in the shower. So you can probably either hear him singing or whistling and the noisy shower, but um, anyway, we just got back. He went to the gym. Obviously now he's back in the shower. I have lots of work to do. So, and I didn't bring my gym stuff, so I'm just doing this. I've probably only been working for like half an hour, 
probably do it for another hour, hour and a half, and then get ready for dinner. Um, we haven't booked anywhere. We're just kind of hoping for the best, which we did at lunchtime, and it was relatively unsuccessful. But we had a really nice time village hopping. I was exhausted. I slept the whole car journey on the way home. It was like half an hour to get back and I just slept the whole time. And then changed into my PJs. Now obviously working. We did get a few more bits at the random villages that we went to. Um, it was really nice to see like five different places in one day. I would highly recommend doing that like we just stayed in some of them for like 20 minutes and there were even one or two that we ended up just literally driving through because there was actually nothing to do there but we just have a thing where we love going around and looking at houses I guess me maybe because I'm a designer Eli I don't know why but we just love it so we just go around and Sorry about Eli in the shower. I don't know what's wrong with him, really, I don't. Anyway, um, I can't remember what I was saying now. Yeah, we had a really nice day and I'm looking forward to dinner. I think we're gonna try and wake up early. Obviously, tomorrow is our last day. Not obviously, I don't know why I said obviously. But tomorrow's our last day here and we'll probably have to check out around 11. So we're gonna go for a swim early morning, hopefully. And it's just been really nice to be out of the city and in pure countryside. Mm -hmm.